Excuse me, but I think this is a vulgar trap. You brought me here just so I would run into him. How ridiculous. No, no, please, Wana. Mauricio doesn't have anything to do with me bringing you here. Oh, right. And you know what? Uh, I didn't even know he was here. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes these things happen. Like, destiny is at work. Oh, sure, destiny. Destiny. Maybe it was just you wanting us to meet, huh? Huh? No! Look, when I saw you in the car, so fast asleep, so vulnerable. A and the car was already coming here. I guess that since this place is so peaceful, y you know, this place for me gives me so much calm, so much peace, that I thought it would do the same for you. And well, I guess the same thing happened to Mauricio, right? Yeah, right, right. You see, then? <laughs> exactly what I said. And since I see, then I'm leaving. No, no, no. No, look. Think about it. Think about it for only one second. Mm. Didn't you once tell me that this place made you think of beautiful things? So then, it's, it's more to your favor. And then you two can't keep running away from each other all the time. So talk to each other. Listen to each other. Give yourself that chance, okay? You don't have to sleep here in discomfort on the floor. Go home. No, of course not. I'm fine here. This is the only place I could rest here with you. And that's it. Not another word about it, okay? David! Hello, David. Brandy, do you know where Juana is? Yes, she left to rest a while. She left with Mrs. Eva, Mauricio's aunt. Mauricio's aunt? No, 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 really. I, I feel like I, I don't want to stay here. I, I just want to go. I have the feeling that nothing good is going to happen. No, over no, here. no, no. Don't talk to me about feelings. The only one that has feelings here is me. You're just afraid, my dear. That's all. And so, since you need time to think, we are going to do something. While you decide, you go and take a bath. And that way, you can change these clothes and I'll wash them. What do you think, dear? Huh? Yeah, I forgot that I was covered in blood. I wonder how David is doing. Well, Mauricio will call and find out how David is doing, right? Yes, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Come. I'll give you some of my clothes. Come with me, and in the meantime, you can take your shower, relax, and get comfortable. I can't believe that Aunt Eva was able to bring her here and convince her to stay. Huh. I sometimes don't know if my aunt is a woman or an angel. I don't understand. Why did one have to leave with Mauricio's aunt? I don't like that one bit. Oh, stop it, Manuel, and stop worrying. Aunt Eva is a very special person. Special or not special, Enriqueta. She's Mauricio's aunt, the man that has hurt Juana so much. Juana and Aunt Eva like each other very much, way back from the beginning, at Rafael's party. And I don't know, I think that it's good for her to take her away. You know, Juana is going through a lot. I'm sure in her state, this is not good for her at all. Hello, Enrique. What have you heard? Hello, what's up? Yes, it sure was very difficult to convince her to take a shower. And I told her it was going to be good for the baby. And I went ahead and changed myself. Yeah. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> and it's true that so many emotions are not good for the baby. Then also, it's not good for him to see such a depressed father. He feels that too. Mm. Yes, but it is transmitted and felt when the father is near. Ah, so you are not going to be near her now? <laughs> I still can't believe that you brought her all the way here. You even lied to her, telling her that you didn't know that I was here. Wait a minute. That was a little white lie. Huh? And 
Be careful you don't tell her that I knew you were here. If she loses her trust in me, then we are doomed, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. <laughs> Look, what you need to do now is to light the fan. So when she comes out, this place will be nice and warm. I'm going to make her some soup. I don't know what with, but soup is always good. Yes, soup is always good. And I know so because it's food for the soul. Good luck, my dear. Lots of luck. Hmm? Well, then, Peter, I'm going to be leaving now. There must be quite a mess over at the house, and they might be needing me. Yes, I was thinking about leaving myself. I'll go with you. What? You go with me? No, 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 Nikita, I don't know. Your friends might see that strange, and you should stay with them. Besides, I can wait another day. <laughs> Mr. Manuel, could it be that you're afraid of committing yourself? What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just that you're making excuses about us, aren't you? Have you thought about what I said earlier? What about us living together? Mm-hmm. Not yet. Bye. I must confess that that bath made me feel much better. And even if my head is screaming to get out of here, my body just wants to fall on a sofa until tomorrow. You're out there, Mauricio. Two steps from me. Oh, how I wish I could hate you. Now you have to convince Juana to eat something. Mm? Mm, mm. Yes, yes, I will. Well, it was difficult when we tried to convince her to stay. <laughs> she can't stay without eating after everything she went through. Right, right, that's true. And you two eat something, okay? So after she gets out of the bathroom, you two sit here quietly and eat. Oh, this is such a weird sensation, Auntie. All this seems so incredible. Hmm? She and I together in this place again? I, I thought we would never be together again here. Ah, yes, Destiny, which now is called Aunt Eva, because you were the one that came up with all of this. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much I need to be with Wana here, alone by ourselves. And that's why I'm going out to the garden, but not too far away so Wana won't be frightened. Imagine how far this has gone, huh? <sighs> Wana afraid of being, or even thinking of being alone with me. Darling, go slowly. Be patient. Love is like that. Get scared, but when love is real, it's scared. And it will hide, but it won't disappear. <laughs> oh, stop it, Wana, enough. What do you think could happen? What could Mauricio and you say to each other that you haven't said already? Nothing. He's not going to disappear, so calm yourself down enough. anything but it wasn't because of anything bad it was because Aunt Azucena and I talked on this and we agreed that she should be the one to tell you not I listen Maria Rosa I'm tired of everyone treating me as if I was a kid even by you who just got here well it's enough it's enough I'm tired of it since the thread breaks at the thinnest part I am going to start with you so you better tell me what's wrong with my father listen cousin things are not like this hear me oh yes it is my dear you better start talking. What's the mystery between you and my mother about my father? Speak up! Did you have a good bath? Mm, yes. 
And your aunt? Uh, she's outside. She's fixing the roses. Oh, sure. She just went out to do that. If you like, you can look out the window. You can see her there. Yes, I know. I know she's out there, right. Your aunt is... I must confess she's really sweet. <sighs> yes, all her life. And also crazy. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, that too, all her life. How's that, bringing me all the way here without me knowing so I could meet with you? No, no, it's not like that. I really... Oh, come on, Mauricio. Please, I'm not that stupid. I've had a good share of blows to know when something is true and... and, and when something is a lie, so there. I don't know everything either. No, no, I'm not an expert. No, but at least I try. Well, do you want to eat something, do you? No, I don't. But you have to eat. You have to get nourishment, okay? Especially you with the baby on the way. Don't forget you're pregnant. You have to eat. For the baby because I'm pregnant, no? Well, what I meant to say was that... No, Mauricio, cool it, sweetie. No, cool it. We need to eat. Let's eat. Let's make Daddy happy and fill the stomach up very well. Let's go ahead. Let's eat. Let's eat. Fill the belly. Fill the belly and forget about the heart. It's not important. Okay, baby, let's go. That's great. Here you go. I made you a nice cup of tea with all my love and care for you. And I know that all this anguish you carry will go away. Will you cut it out with this tea nonsense? No hot water is going to calm me down. Don't you get it? The only thing that is going to make me feel better or calm me down is... is, is or, 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 or stop me from exploding is if you tell me the truth. So come on, girl. So will you please tell me what's wrong with my father? Fine, Anna Marie. I'm going to tell you, but God, forgive me, because I made a promise to Uncle Ramon that I will never tell anybody. But since he insists, I'm going to tell you. Tell me. What's going on, Maria Rosa? Please, tell me. I've got to know. Talk. Anna Maria, your father is dying. His days are numbered, cousin. I really thought your Aunt Eva was more serious, I mean, bringing me here just to have something to eat, have a bath, sure, who's going to believe that? Who? Who's going to believe it? Enough, Juana. Please, don't take it out on her. If you're mad, you're mad at me. Please. She was only trying to get us to meet, talk, and... If there is anything to rescue between us, then we can do so. Mauricio, there is nothing to rescue between you and I, much less with David the way he is now. It was my fault. Okay? I was the intended target. No, 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 wait a minute. We were all in that building and it was because of me we went to see that lawyer. Mauricio, what are you doing? Trying so that nobody else gets hurt because of me. Juana, I want to clear up everything. Really, my intentions are we can talk right now. We are here alone without anyone here to confuse everything. Mauricio, listen, I, I I, really don't think it's right for me to be here. I better just take my things and go. No, no, Juana, please don't go, okay? Fine, but if I stay here, then I would appreciate it if you stay away from me or don't touch me. All right, forgive me, but please keep eating, okay? Look, I promise I won't do anything else to bother you, really. If they could only see how things are fixed when they are allowed to flow, eliminate them, make them lose that blindfold of fear, let them hear each other and understand each other well, and let them see each other in the light of love. Would you like anything else to eat? No, no, I'm fine. More water or... No, no. Uh... There are strawberries in the... Mauricio, I don't want any. Stop it. Yes, it is true. Of course it is true, and I hate to see you crying like this, but... But I had to tell you the truth. Mauricio offered you the job so you could have you near to him, and he found a way of making you fall in love with him so he could use you and manipulate you. Of course, until the day of the birth. 
until the day that you had your baby, then he could take him away from you forever. Wana, what's the matter? No, no, nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's this place, right? You don't remember it as... as that pretty place where we came to that time, right? Now you only see it as... that dark place where... you supposedly learned the whole truth about me. Yes. I remember everything Desri told me. And how she enjoyed every single word she said. Wana, after she told you that I was the father of your baby, did she tell you anything else? Yes. She told me that you left your house because of her, not because of me. Oh, please, those are all lies. Mauricio, why don't you tell me the truth? Do you have something with that woman? I won't be surprised because not only is she attractive, but she's also so easy. Tell me, Mauricio, you know, since you and I don't stand a chance, right? Well, so, tell me, since I don't want to remain the fool in the story. Do you have something with Desri? Kalotika, you're not going to tell your mother what that viper was in such a hurry to tell you? Mama, I told you she's worried about Mauricio because she, she thinks someone wants to kill him, that's all. And what did you tell her? What could I tell her? To get those ideas out of her head? That it was an assault? What else? Look, Kalotika, are you sure you're not keeping anything from me? Oh, Mom, what could I be keeping from you, really? Wana, there is nothing going on with Desiree. Oh, sure. Now you tell me that, but when she was living in your house, something must have happened or not. I can't deny that she's been trying to start something with me, but please, really, nothing happened. Mauricio! She told me so herself, right here, in this same place that you had left Kalota for her. Wana, don't mind Desiree. She made it all up. Why would she make up something like that? Well... Because she does feel an attraction for me, she has told me so herself, but nothing has happened. Mauricio, stop lying! Please, stop it! I don't believe you, please! I can't imagine any man saying no to a woman like that! Listen to me, listen to me well. You can go ahead and hate me for not telling the truth in time. You can go ahead and blame me for, for everything that happened. I won't deny it, but I think that... Believe me, Wana. I swear over the most sacred things in my life, and that you and that baby you're respecting. That everything that has been happening to me for the past few months is for you. And what I feel for you. Moana, you are the woman I've always wanted to be with, and I didn't want to stop looking at for one single moment. You made me feel different, Moana. You can... Believe me or not, but in all this, there is only one truth, Wana. I fell in love with you. That is the only truth. I fell in love with you. I I really can't explain. It happened so fast. I don't remember. So you saved Mauricio's life, right? Yes, sir. Because you could have been the dead guy. Ah, oh, Armando, please. No, let him, Brandy. Let him. I know. It's true. I could have died. You know, not many have such good friends like you, David. Armando, Umberto, thank you for coming. But... I feel tired. I would like to rest now. Do you want all of us to leave, David? Please. Well, take care of yourself, okay?
I didn't know anything about your pregnancy or my son when we first met each other. Like the night we sat and watched the stars out on that hill, remember? Yes. Well, that day you stared up something special in me, but... But, but I... I... I didn't dare think that, that, that I could be attracted to you. I didn't even dare think it. Oh, sure. So when you found out that I was the woman who was carrying your baby, all of a sudden you went, Sas! Ah, bracadabra. Then you fell in love with all of me. No. It wasn't like that. Oh, no? Then tell me how it was, Mauricio. How did you supposedly fall in love with me? Juana. I fell in love with you. When you made me begin to feel again. Because it had been years since I stopped feeling with anyone. What? That wonderful sensation of disappearing, Juana. How? I know it sounds ridiculous, but I, since I was a child, I had never felt like this before. That wherever I was, or whoever I was with, it was in my power to be able to disappear. Disappear? Yes. And that's what happened when we stayed in the office that night. Well, I wasn't doing too well in my marriage and I just wanted to spend the night there. And, and there you were. Running away from my house because of the mess with my pregnancy. And I... I didn't know anything then about your insemination and, and yet we still held hands and we sat there and we watched the night lights all together. You remember? Yes. Yes, I remember, yes. I disappeared with you without caring about anything. Just like the day we went to that coffee place near the office and the first time we played football at the churchyard. When we went to the mountain park. Juana. I started to figure out that with you, I could disappear from the rest of the world. Because when I'm with you, I don't care about the rest of the world. Oh, stop, Mauricio. Please don't. Don't tell me things like that. Please, enough. Stop it. And why shouldn't I say them when they are the truth? I was already in love with you before I got to know about your pregnancy. And you know it, Juana. You know it, but you're just afraid to accept it. Me? Yes, you. Juana, remember the first time we kissed? And you know it's true. And I didn't care kissing you right there. I didn't care where we were. I was already out of myself. Juana, with you, I had disappeared from all of my fronts, my facades. Oh, stop, Mauricio, please stop. You, you confuse me with so many words. Yes, you're right, you're right. Words were made to confuse us. But actions are clearer than words. Listen. Listen, please. Shh, quiet in this. Enriqueta wants to say something, yes? Yes, well, I need to explain to you why David wants to be left alone. <sighs> well, the thing is that the doctors don't know if he'll walk again. This is impossible, understand? And that's why I don't want to believe anything you say, because this is impossible. Wanna, wanna look, please, even if our love is impossible, you have to know what I feel for you. And what I feel for you is real love, Wanna. 
true love, real love. And even if I didn't know this side of happiness while married to Kalota, well, it wasn't easy for me to leave the house and leave everything to be able to be with you, but I didn't do all this to take away my son from you. No one, huh? Everything I did, I did it to be by your side, to be able to be with you. And what about Kalota Mauricio? Right now she's at home and she's not well and what are you going to do about her? Well, I... I can't abandon her now. I'll have to be there, right? Of course. Wanna, but what I need to hear from you is, is that, please, you really do believe me. And that, Wanna, that you know I did not use you, nor did I take advantage of you. Wanna, I need you to tell me that, you know that each kiss and each embrace that we shared were real, that they are real. I believe you, Mauricio. And you don't know how much it hurts me to tell you this. Because all this time, you kept the whole truth from me that you knew about the baby, but I can't deny that you and I fell in love. That is something I cannot deny, and everything that came afterwards was just a lot of confusion. Nighttime is falling. Have they been able to listen to each other? I'm such a fool, of course they did. If not, one would have flown out that door screaming to take her back home. And what do I do now, going or not? Well, I hope Mauricio you knew how to express all that love you feel for her. <sighs> no, no, no. Wait, Mauricio. This is not. This is not right. No, no, it's no. Not... Nobody knows. And from now on, we are the ones that will decide if this is or isn't right. Because if I love you, then it's not right that I'm not at your side. My God, what is this? The man I love and me alone. And with all this desire I feel for the very first time. With this baby that is ours in my womb. Oh God, so many things at the same time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Juana. But from now on, the rules of the outside world have just been left out there. And it's just you and me who will decide. It's just us. Us and nobody else. It's you and me. And this immense love that brings us together. so many new sensations together at the same time. I feel like I'm going to die from happiness. I just, I just want to feel you next to me. And to love you the most beautiful way there is. Oh, he's unbuttoning my blouse. And I love it. No, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be feeling this. I'm not ready to make love to you, Mauricio. I don't know anything about this. I don't know. I've never been... Oh, but how I desire to be with you, Mauricio. I love you. I adore you. I love you. I love you. And this baby that belongs to the two of us. My God, I feel all 
these sensations and my heart feels like it's going to pop out. Should I turn the lights on? No, leave it like this. Do you want to sleep? I wish yeah. I could. Are you sure you want me to stay? Still dark. Somebody must be here. Juana, Juana. Uh, hello, son. Hi. I thought it was Anna Maria. Uh, have you heard from her? No. Why? Don't you know where she is? No. Well, mother, calm down. She'll be home soon. Relax. What is it? Why are you so worried? Uh, is that I know Anna Maria very well, and with all the things that are going on with Ramon. I'm afraid she's not taking it too well. Hey, hey, Anna Maria. I'm not going to stay here. Are you crazy? Look, I'm not asking you to stick to me like, 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 like glue. If you want to go, go. But I need to have a drink, even if it's just a beer. Well, I don't drink, but for sure I'm not going to leave you alone. Well, I'm telling you one thing that's for sure. If you sit on that chair, it's to drink with me or you leave now. And you bring us the coldest, oldest beer you can find in this place. Well, Carlotta, I can see how you're doing. I can see you're doing pretty well. Good. No, I really don't know. I feel like a kid confused. I'm having these blanks and my nerves are destroyed. I'm really at my wit's end. Uh, yes, of course. The accident was pretty bad. Thank God everything is okay with you now. But, oh, poor David. How's he doing? I was at the clinic and, well, we still don't know for sure, but it seems that he won't be able to walk again. That is terrible. That's pathetic. Yes. Carlotta, you know, the bullet was meant for Mauricio, and David got in the way. Yes, but well, that was his destiny, no? I don't know. I don't think it was destiny. I believe someone wanted to kill Mauricio. Um, don't you think so? Amanda, I really am very thankful that my husband is alive, and... And I know if something happens to him, I wouldn't know what to do. I couldn't live without him. And that's all. Ah. Uh, now tell me something. By any chance, do you know if one was with Mauricio and David at that time? Well, yes, that's what I've been told. What is it, Carlotta? Don't you feel well? I'm so confused because... I'm so confused because I know that girl. That damn girl called Juana is an element of distress in my life and Mauricio's. But I'm not clear why. Do you know? Uh, Carlotta, stop thinking about her. Tell me something. Did you see Juana at the clinic when you went to see David? Mm, no, she wasn't there. Well then, I know that you are with her, Mauricio. This is madness, but to be able to be here with you, to be able to caress you, to hold you, to kiss you all I want, and just to be able to disappear, be able to disappear with you, simply be able to do it without anyone judging you or telling you what you have to do with the person you love, that, that is happiness. 
Mauricio, I... This bothers you? Are you upset? Do I make you feel bad? No, no. I even feel too... I feel too good, but I... Yes? Mauricio, I love you. And I love you too. But I've never loved anyone else before, see? I know. And all this that I'm feeling is... so intense and so new to me. <laughs> you know, for me too, this is very different. To be able to be here with someone that you know and feel, that your very heart is outside. And inside that person. It's the same with me. And maybe I don't know in my sound. Silly or foolish, but... But I don't feel that I'm ready to make love to you, Mauricio. Now, listen to me. Don't listen to her. Just listen to me. I want you to bring me two more of those pills. Okay, listen, okay, sure. Listen. I'm asking sure. from the bottom of my heart. Don't you bring another drink for her? Can't you see the state she is in now? What oh, state? Look at you. Hey, hey, mister. Do you see me in any state? No? Then bring her beer that I asked for. Now. Anita, please better stop drinking. I'm not going to stop drinking, Maria Rosa. I told you clearly from the beginning that if you're going to sit here with me, we're going to drink as equals. So, if you don't like it, get up and leave. And where's that damn waiter with my beer? Where? Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, my God. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, old oh, man. My dear old man, you don't know what he meant to me, what he means to me. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for him to come back. Just to give me an explanation as to why he abandoned me. Fine. Don't give me an explanation as to why you abandoned me. Fine. Fine. Because you know what? Only, only thing I'm interested in. Maria Rosa? Yes, tell me, because it works. Mm. To have him near. <laughs> that my old man came back to ask me to forgive him. And so I could forgive him for all the abandonment I ever felt. Mm. You have to forgive me, Maria Rosa. You have to forgive. And your old man even more. Because life is too short to to live it just by thinking of hate and anguish all the time. That's right. <laughs> oh, cousin. <laughs> Forgive me, Amanda, but I don't feel well. I'm sorry, Carlotta, but can I do anything for you? No, no, don't you worry. I need to rest, that's all. Yes, Miss Carlotta, I'll accompany you to your room. Okay, darling, you go on. See you, Amanda. See you later. Okay, take care. You don't know how difficult things are in this house. My poor daughter with all her confusion. And to tell you, even the mere mention of Juana Perez's name is enough to drive her crazy. Yes, yes, I do. But why that? You know what, Amandito? No. Uh-huh. It's just that I can't tell my daughter about all the problems she was having with Mauricio before the accident, you see? Honestly, I don't know. I don't think she's um, strong enough to take all that. You understand me? Yes, yes, of course. I understand you perfectly. Well, then I'm leaving. Oh, Amandito, thank you so much for your visit. And you do know you're always welcome in this house. Um, thank you very much, but one thing. You're looking very beautiful. Oh, my. Well, thank you. <laughs> Beauty must be appreciated. And you, aside your many qualities, are beautiful.
at least they ate. But they are not in the kitchen because they would have taken the plates to be washed. Nothing, mother. Anna is not at Lily's noise, Rosita. Oh, God. Maybe they are together. No, Lily couldn't tell me. Oh, my God. Maybe Rosita told her what I couldn't tell her. Oh, well, and knowing Anna Maria, she's not as strong as she seems to be. And now with the news that her father is about to die. Oh. Look, mother, take it easy and stop getting so worked up about it, okay? For sure, Anna, when looking for Salvador, she could be with him. Yes, that's right. Yes, maybe that's it. Maybe she went to look for Ramon's whereabouts. Hey, that must be her. No, mother, she has her own keys. Hello. Hello. Uh. I know I can go as far as I want with you, you see. And I know that, but... Everything that is around us would be a lie to think that we could disappear, understand? I know, but happiness tends to be so short-lived, and all I have is with you. I feel the same way. It's so strange, no? When I'm this close to you, my body just vibrates and vibrates. Yeah, and believe me, I feel exactly the same way. You might think that it's... childish or ignorant, but... I always thought that when a woman is pregnant, she doesn't feel. But I want you so much, Mauricio. And I want you. And the most surprising thing is that I want you with so much love. And not just in a physical way. No, no. It's, it's much more than that. Yes, I know. I feel the same thing, but well... I don't know about... about physical love. The only thing I know is that since you started to unbutton my shirt, my body is so excited that I feel my heart is going to jump out of my mouth. Well, not just my... Not just my heart, the baby's and mine. Forgive me, Mauricio, but... I'm not ready to make love to you. I feel embarrassed. There are so many ways to make love, Juana. And I think that we've used a few of them right now. Like what just happened a while ago. To be able to kiss you. And in that beautiful place of your body, where the two most important persons I love the most are. My son. And you. Solo tu lado. Why did one have to leave with Mauricio's aunt? I don't like that one bit. Oh, stop it, Manuel, and stop worrying. Aunt Eva is a very special person. Special or not special, Enriqueta. She's Mauricio's aunt, the man that has hurt Juana so much. Juana and Aunt Eva like each other very much, way back from the beginning, at Rafael's party. And I don't know, I think that it's good for her to take her away. You know, Juana is going through a lot. I'm sure in her state, this is not good for her at all. 
Hello, if it's a hot up your head. Hello, what's up? Yes, it sure was very difficult to convince her to take a shower. Then I told her it was going to be good for the baby. And I went ahead and changed myself. Excuse me, but I think this is a vulgar trap. You brought me here just so I would run into him. How ridiculous. No, no, please, Wana. Mauricio doesn't have anything to do with me bringing you here. Oh, right. And you know what? Uh, I didn't even know he was here. I, I don't know. Sometimes these things happen. Like, destiny is at work. Oh, sure, destiny. Destiny. Maybe it was just you wanting us to meet, huh? Huh? No! Look, when I saw you in the car, so fast asleep, so vulnerable. A and the car was already coming here. I guess that since this place is so peaceful, y you know, this place for me gives me so much calm, so much peace, that I thought it would do the same for you. And well, I guess the same thing happened to Mauricio, right? Yeah, right, right. You see then? <laughs> exactly what I said. And since I see, then I'm leaving. No, 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 look. Think about it. Think about it for only one second. Mm. Didn't you once tell me that this place made you think of beautiful things? So then, it's, it's more to your favor. And then you two can't keep running away from each other all the time. So talk to each other. Listen to each other. Give yourself that chance, okay? It's me. You're just afraid, my dear. That's all. And so, since you need time to think, we are going to do something. While you decide, you go and take a bath. And that way, you can change these clothes and I'll wash them. What do you think, dear? Huh? Yeah, I forgot that I was covered in blood. I wonder how David is doing. Well, Mauricio will call and find out how David is doing, right? Yes, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Come. I'll give you some of my clothes. Come with me, and in the meantime, you can take your shower, relax, and get comfortable. I can't believe that Aunt Eva was able to bring her here and convince her to stay. <laughs> I sometimes don't know if my aunt is a woman or... You don't have to sleep here in discomfort on the floor. Go home. No, of course not. I'm fine here. This is the only place I could rest here with you. And that's it. Not another word about it, okay? Oh, David. Yes, she left to rest a while. She left with Mrs. Eva, Mauricio's aunt. Mauricio's aunt? No, 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 really. I, I feel like I, I don't want to stay here. I, I just want to go. I have the feeling that nothing good is going to happen. No, no, here. no, no. Don't talk to me about feelings. The only one that has feelings here 